This video we're going to take a look at what I think is probably the uh, longest range handheld flashlight I've ever tried. This thing is absolutely amazing. It's the Thrunite TN42. That's coming up on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So if you saw any of my 2016 SHOT Show videos, you know that my SHOT Show trip was sponsored by Thrunite Flashlights. Well, they're probably going to sponsor the 2017 trip, and they were kind enough to sponsor this video as well. That's the Thrunite TN42 handheld searchlight. i got to tell you, this thing really um, kind of proves the point that it, it, it ain't all about the lumens, okay? The, uh, this thing is 2,000 lumens, which is a lot of lumens, but I've, I've actually tested some flashlights that are three to four to 5,000 lumens, and this one just, it seems to outperform them as far as a spotlight or, or a, a um, searchlight. I really wanna show you the night shots to this thing because it's, it's absolutely amazing um, how, how far this light reaches out. But before we do that, let's talk about the specs real quick. First of all, this thing features a Cree XHP35 high LED. You can see it in there it's way back in there back down about right here with a gigantic very deep reflector super shiny smooth reflector it, it runs on four 18 650 batteries it's ipx8 waterproof it is one meter drop rated and it features five levels of light we'll show those different light levels at night but, but what i'll tell you about them right now real quick it has a firefly which is 0.8 lumens low of 38 lumens medium of 256 a high of 780 and a turbo of 2000 it also features a strobe so it has a really good spread i think they really spaced out their their levels really well and like all, all the other through nights this thing comes with some extra o-rings to keep it to keep it sealed but the way it works is oh we might as well get this out of the way this thing comes with a shoulder strap because it's definitely not a pocket flashlight. Adjustable shoulder strap. You can use it or not use it. I think it's handy if you're going to be using this thing for some sort of some sort of search and rescue operation or for something you just need to, need to have it for. It's really handy to be able to hang it on your shoulder there and just reach up here and turn the light on. Um, because the button, when you got it hanging, the button actually falls right where your hand's gonna 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 lay. So that's really, really good ergonomics there. That's the strap, which I like. Some people may not like it. You don't have to use it. It comes off really easy. Got a couple little clips here and another little swivel clip here. So we'll take it out of the way for a minute, show you how this thing works. It basically, you unscrew the, the uh, bottom of it and this is the uh, housing with a, with a bulb in it and this super clear, ultra clear glass lens and a really, really bright reflector deep reflector and that's where it gets to throw which you're going to see in a minute it's amazing how far this thing throws a beam of light and it a very tight focused beam but anyway it has a battery carrier here that holds four 18 650s um it's really easy as long as you put these in right it doesn't matter which way you turn the carrier so your polarity is is based on the carrier and we put it in there like so screw it back on like so then uh, the last thing I want to show you before the night shots is it operates with a single side switch, which I like. There's not a bunch of buttons to, to push. And it's just like all the other through nights. If you want to get the Firefly, you're just going to hold it down, long press it, and it comes on with a Firefly. And that's like the 0.8 lumens. And then if you want to um, access the regular modes, you're going to click it one time. Just click it one time. That's going to give you the low. And then if you just hold it down, it cycles to the medium. You hold it down again, it cycles. Well, hold it down, it cycles to the high. In order to get to the turbo, the 2000 lumens, you just double click it from any mode. We're not going to shine at the camera and blind you, but that is a, the, uh, all the modes and how you operate it. Not complicated. Didn't take me very much rambling to explain that either, did it? Without a lot more rambling through the magic of video editing, we're going to take you to the night shots that I've already done. We'll take a look at those and we'll come back and wrap this thing up. Okay, so here we are. Uh, first of all, we'll go over the Firefly. This is 0.8 lumens and you can see... Um, believe it or not, that's putting a nice little spot. That's about probably six, seven feet from the uh, flashlight. And as we move it forward, you can see there's a tree out here. You can still sort of see the spot on the tree. That's amazing. That tree's about 20 feet away, and that's 0.8 lumens. So, and that's good for, by the way, 58 days. So if you go to the low now, so that is 38 lumens, and that is good for 4.3 days. Go to the next level, which is going to be medium, and that's going to be. 256 lumens you can see as you get up something close it really almost washes out everything uh, that's 25 feet but we're going out that's at least gosh that is 100 feet away at that spot is right there and you can see how bright it is 
The next level, which is high, is 780 lumens, good for 5.3 hours. We'll crank it up to that. And you can see that thing, those trees out there, you can really, you can't see them very well, but you can just see the, the focus beam going out. And um, <laughs> that thing is uh, really reaching out there. I'm, I'm, I can see the trees very clearly. They've got to be, I don't know, those, are, those have got to be 500, 600 yards away. We're, we're, we're diagonally going across the golf course here. And finally, we'll go to the, uh, to the turbo, which is 2,000 lumens, good for an hour and a half. And let's double click and go to turbo. And you can see that's just amazing, man. That thing is absolutely putting out a serious beam of light. And uh, it's, it's really, really going to take you out there. You can see the uh, expressway going across there. I might be blind in cars now, but those trees that you see there, the, the three, they're probably, like I said, got to be 300, 300 yards away. And, and as we go out into the distance, you can, you can, I can see trees that are, gosh, this thing is going, I don't know, it's got to be going close to a quarter mile, half a mile away. And if you look up into the sky, this thing could probably communicate with the space station. So that's pretty cool. Uh, real quick, we'll take a uh, strobe, strobe alert and see what happens there. So watch yourself if that bothers you. And it's a very fast blinking strobe, but there we go. That is the through night TN42, uh, literally a photon cannon. This thing is amazing. Okay, that was some of the night shots of the through night TN42. I got to tell you, I'm really impressed with the uh, beam quality on this thing. It really keeps a very tight focus beam and reaches out there. Um, just absolutely a handheld searchlight. And it just goes to show that it's not always about the lumens. It has so much to do with the uh, reflector and the reflector shape of the reflector and the ultra clear glass lens and the LED used. Just really great job of reaching out there. Um, I hope you can see that as well as I could. I think it showed up pretty well on the viewfinder of the camera. Just it, even the uh, Firefly was just a tight focus beam. So again, this is not an everyday flashlight, not an EDC flashlight. But if you have a need for a handheld spotlight or searchlight, this could be a really good choice for you. Uh, maybe for even for signaling across long distances, this thing will absolutely reach out there. I have no doubt you can see this from several miles away. And so the price of this light is about 200 bucks. Now I know that's not cheap, but if you have a need for a handheld spotlight or searchlight, um, this could be a really good choice for you. Again, this takes four 18650 batteries. It does not come with the batteries, but Through Night has a really nice charger battery bundle, the MCC-4S. That is um, 75 bucks for the charger and the batteries. And the charger is really good because it charges not only 18650s, but it charges a wide range of batteries. Chug Norris can cook minute rice in 15 seconds. Once again, thanks to the folks at Through Night for sending me this so I can show it to you and for sponsoring this video. And thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for clicking that thumbs up, for sharing this video with all your friends. And thank you so much for doing all your Amazon shopping through the Survival on Purpose links. I really appreciate the support. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time. This is not an EDC flashlight. Without a lot more rambling, I'm just pulling up the old specs on the phone here. This is a really bright light. Hoping there's not a mosquito on my head. It's almost like a handheld searchlight. It ain't all about lumens.